Hello everyone, and welcome to today's video where we'll be diving into the IBM IPRM opcode with a practical example. The PRM opcode is used in RPG programming to define parameter fields in AP lists. Let's walk through an example program where we'll use the PRM opcode to add two numbers and display the result. Let's see variable declaration. XDSPLY is defined as a 50 character field with an initial with default value blank. C is defined as a two-digit integer with no decimal places, also initialized. Next, we can see plist. Entry plist indicates that the program is capable of receiving values from calling program. Parameter A and parameter B is defined as two-digit integers with no decimal places. Eval C equals A plus B computes the sum of A and B and stores it in C. This line here will construct the string for display showing the values of A, B, and C. DSBLY x DSBLY displays the constructed string on the screen. Set on LR indicates the end of the program. Now, let's execute this program with parameters A equals 22 and B equals 11. The output displayed will be DSBLY 22 plus 11 is equal to 33. And that's how the PRM opcode in IBM IRPG programming allows us to define and use parameters effectively within a program. It's a fundamental tool for passing and manipulating data between programs and modules. I hope you found this video helpful in understanding how to use the PRM opcode in your own IBM IRPG programs. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more IBM iProgramming tutorials. Thank you for watching.